Hey folks, welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends, where we have just fought off Miraji, reclaimed our ship, and now it's onwards to wreak havoc amongst an armada. Hey, he's cowering nigh with all his men gone. No one's coming to help you, Miraji. Oh, damn. You're not even worth me killing you. Whose ship is it, I wonder? Yeah, it's Vigoro. With its giant penis cannon. <laughs> yep. Yep. Penis jokes ahoy! <laughs> it's a cannon weaving contest. Right, okay. Now you kind of see how this is going, don't you? Every turn is basically either nothing, or we get to use our Moonstone Cannon on him, and take a lot of damage at the same time. Of course the problem... Yeah, you can see the problem. There's no strategy at all to this. You can't do magic, can you? Not much magic. Uh, what we'll do, actually. Incrum on there. Might take us a while to be able to do stuff. Probably not worth using um, Incrum now, actually. Because it only lasts for a couple of uh, couple of boards, so let's see. I'd like to get a torpedo to come down. To do that, I'm gonna end up not guarding on that turn. Let's take a defensive, defensive uh, mindset this turn. Feel like. I don't know why we engage him in this slugfest. Okay, 5,000 damage. Not a huge amount, that's fine. Because obviously, if he's just going to do that, you know, we can, we can run around a bit. Even the odds in our favour. Oh well. This just seems like a terrible strategy. Oh, he guarded on that turn. Ha! He missed us. No, oh, kind of a waste of Sakruin, really. I thought we were gonna have to heal a lot more damage. But, you know, never mind. This is how incompetence fight. 
How much do you use Ingram? Four. Okay. So you're going to use the Moonstone Cannon there. I got you're going to use Ingram here. Tina's going to guard here. Enrique is going to use the Deluxe Kit here. It's a shame you can only use the Moonstone Cannon once per turn. Hmm. We wasted a guard. Guess he's not always going to be able to use the Draco Cannon. Probably has the same restriction as we do. You can only use it once per turn. Nice, boost ourselves up a little bit. Here we go. Let's see how much this does. Youch! Okay. One more of those and he's going down. I think he missed the torpedoes? What did they hit? I couldn't really see. Yeah, they hit. Youch! Okay, 16,000. That's a bit more like it. That's what happens when you're not guarding. Yeah, we're not going to really get much chance to use our cannons here, because we're never really side by side. There's a lot of times where we're sort of passing over each other. It'd be great if you could launch the torpedo straight up into someone. Ah, fuck you! He is obsessed. Okay. Guard. Focus. Heal. Screwing the heals all damage, doesn't it? He's not going to do 35,000 damage in this turn. Make sure. Yeah, repairs all damage. Okay. Let's get a couple of focuses in. This section's a real pain in the ass um, if you're not using save states. Good guard to make. Um, because if you fall in any one of these fights, I think you have to go back to your last save. You'll have to start the uh, series of battles all over again. From where you fought Miraji on your ship. I think, anyway, you know, I'm not 100% on that. Gonna lose. Too good for that. I think he managed to hit us with the torpedo. I suppose he did that before, so. Okay, yes, yeah, so you were no longer incrumed. Vice, you're going to use the cannon there. You're going to use, going to use Ingram here. Fina. 
we're going to use a deluxe kit here. Enrique, in case we need it, we're also going to use a deluxe kit here. Okay, now we have another battle coming after this one. Anyone who's been paying attention will know the same. Fingers crossed we may not even need to use these complete kits, or uh, deluxe kits, but having the extra healing is always nice just in case. One wasted heal. It would be interesting to see what happened if we fired both these cannons at the same time. Bam! That should be enough to take him down. Yep. Bye bye, Vagoro. Hey, a Captain Stripe, which we won't get to apply just yet. I thought it was called a Draco Cannon. That's passing very close. <laughs> I don't think his window is that close to the side of the ship on the bridge. Oh no you won't. It's not you we're facing, Beleza, and we've already beat you once before in a fishing boat. So don't be getting too smug. Ha! Ah. Someone wasn't thinking straight. It's the Blue Gigas. Damn, that thing is powerful! are kind of puny. We haven't faced a Gigas in a while. Out of the frying pan, eh? I think it's charging something. Maybe not. Okay, so so far, we're not in any real trouble. So, it's prep time.
get some of this going. Get some focusing on the go. To be honest, I really don't like the fact that these effects only last for a couple of turns and then you have to reapply them. Whereas in battle they last forever. Oh, okay. Oh, so we are in trouble. Interesting start. He's Ed screwing the pooch. Guess who's casting Skrullin on the first uh, tile next turn? Why is, he Why is he doing these big attacks on the... Uh, on green squares? Green squares were supposed to be safe. Ooh, he's flown high! Okay, he's guarding, that's fine. Don't need to worry quite so much about getting Sakrulan off, I guess, next turn. Nope, maybe. Blue Lightning. I mean, he's not really hitting us for any harder than Vagoro's ship hit. And that's even weaker than anything Vagoro landed on us. Ooh, we should have got a couple of uh, cannon shots next turn. Alright, okay. So, I'll be a focus. A guard, a guard. Oh, he. He's a crew. A guard. That's a bit more like it. Not straight up killing us. Blue lightning twice in a row. Probably could have just, instead of guarding, could have just focused actually on this turn. Because I'm going to use Sucruland and heal all damage done to me anyway. So. Oh well. Better safe than sorry. Especially when fighting a Gigas. This is the first Gigas we fight that you actually. The actual objective is to take it down. Instead of just finding a way of making it fall into something. So we fought the Red Gigas, and we made it retreat by attacking Belaza's ship. We fought the Green Gigas, and we knocked it into a ravine to trap it. We weren't able to get... Ooh, hello. Hmm. Uh, we weren't able to get to the Yellow Gigas. fought any of the others yet. You can go 
there. I can you can Ingram focus. I have a horrible feeling about this one. I'm trying to guard on that. I think it's trying to trick me into something. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's a nice of mine. About twenty five thousand. wins. Knew it. But we're guarding. So we should be able to avoid the two red tiles. Maybe not. I... Oh yeah, well we certainly did uh, defend quite a bit against that. Deluxe kit. Eight thousand will definitely be enough to keep us alive. We're still increment, so we should be able to get a fair bit of damage on it. Oh, hello, Phoenix Ray. for the cannon. Nice tracking on it as well. Oh. Lost our target though. The length of this animation is getting a bit of... Uh, getting on my tits a little bit. Six thousand damage. I mean, we are stronger, but it has more health. So you know, here we go. Is that the torpedo hit? Uh, no, I think I saw the torpedo going way past his face. I think we missed. Oh no, we did hit. Excellent. Thirty-one thousand. Lovely. Lovely Jablay. I don't know why it doesn't just fly into us. I mean, I'm not trying to uh, give it too many ideas and trying to say, this is how you should kill us. But I always get the feeling that if it, if 
it just flew into us when I was doing that, it would utterly ruin our ship. Okay. Now, this is where things are getting tricky. Athena has to use Sucrulon here. Right, how many? 14. So we need to make sure that we have at least 7 spirit going into the next fight. So that will work. Right, going into the next turn. But I don't. Uh, we don't get to use the Moonstone Cannon kind of next turn at all, actually. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's try and stay alive. It's just going to unload on us, isn't it? The way the music keeps fading in and out, it's actually kind of worrying because sometimes it makes you think like you've been defeated. Okay, so Krulin. first of all. I'm not a crew. Good as new. Guarding against blue winds. Now might not be a bad time to try and unload on it a little bit, actually. It looks like we're not going to get a chance to use the... Um... Oh, come on! <laughs> looks like we're not going to get a chance to use a uh, Moonstone Cannon on it for a while. You're a terrible shot, Enrique. Three thousand damage. Yeah.
Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Again. I wonder if it's worth trying to use a... I'll fire a spell on it. Let it go. It'd be nice if this guy stopped firing Phoenix Ray at us all the time and Phoenix Lightning, but. You know, we'll get the job done. We can withstand a little more. I want Enrique to, to focus because he's proven himself to be a terrible shot. Up torpedo. It's a good thing with the torpedoes. They can hit anyone anywhere. You don't need to be able to track them. See, so can't fire an electrum at it because we lost our target. We'll still get charged, the uh, the spirit, which is annoying. But hey. Come on, fly in front of us. Here it comes for something. Oh, it's guarding on the chance square. Of course it is. Well, 7,000 is better than nothing. Never thought we'd see the day where we want to whittle down a Gigas. Have a look, okay, we have a little more spirit to play with this time. You can use Sucruin. You know what? I don't actually think it's a good idea to be using um, anyone on a cannon on this turn. Because of the way this thing moves around so much. We need to focus all of our attacks onto the chance square. If this doesn't work, we need to make sure we have enough spirit to get away a Moonstone Cannon on the next round. Even a slightly longer episode today. I'm not going to stop it in the middle of this fight. Damn, that was strong. Oh, I've not given us Ingram. I keep forgetting Ingram. Is that it? Inkrum would have been really handy, let's be honest. But, here's the good news. The good news is, this is happening.
Yay! And with that, the Gigas is down. Whee! Try and fly again if it wants to. And hey! Great place to leave it off, considering this episode's already over time. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next episode out. Goodbye! <laughs>